It is getting so hot recently that for the first time ever, DART is now turning more than a dozen of its transit centers into public cooling stations. Our J.D. Miles sharing that it is part of an effort to reopen indoor waiting areas that have been closed since the pandemic. Matt Swoger says his daily trips on DART buses and trains to and from work involve a lot of sweating in the heat and recently have been nothing short of miserable. I pretty much get home and then, you know, change clothes into something a little bit more clean. Sweat and exhaustion are some of the pitfalls for those who ride public transportation during extreme heat. It's getting pretty rough. Um, you know, if you miss the bus, you kind of wait like another 30, 40 minutes. Uh, like I missed the last one by like 30 seconds. So I'm sitting out there in the sun for about, you know, 45 minutes. Starting tomorrow, Swoger and others who use Dart's Arapahoe Center and seven others around Dallas will be able to hang out and wait inside indoor terminals, which will be staffed and more importantly, offer cool air and water along with vending machines. We're all looking at the exact same heat measures right now and the extreme heat, the unbearable heat we're suffering. The last thing you want is to spend those 10 to 15 minutes outside. A DART spokesman says the cooling stations will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. 11 DART cooling centers open today, including one at the Parker Road Station in Plano, where we found a number of passengers taking advantage of it. Christopher Brown says he was struggling with the heat before finding his way inside. <laughs> Soon, he was feeling so much better, he serenaded others at the station with his saxophone. Well, I can't decide which is worse, cold or hot. Uh, hot is pretty bad, though, because you can actually, you know, make yourself sick. I actually got sick. Seven more of these dark cooling stations will open tomorrow. You can find the locations of them and the 11 that open today at CBSNewsTexas.com. We are told they will remain operational just as long as these hot days last. In Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.